guys, Rich here. Welcome back to the RC Informer YouTube channel. Uh, once again, got Steve on the camera. Today we have the uh, promised uh, paved surface demo of uh, Dynam's new 1300 millimeter uh, Boeing PT-17 Stearman, folks. Really nice airplane. Um, Steve, if you want to pan over real quick, just so you guys can kind of see what the windsock is doing to us. Got a little crosswind here, but we're going to kind of see if we can uh, how the plane does handle uh, a crosswind. So uh, let's see. We got our flight controls checked. I am going to run this today real fast. I'll just point this out to everybody. Um, it's kind of hard to see buried back in there. Uh, can you get in on the battery, Steve? That's a 2600 Predator pack that's like many years old. So it's a four cell just all the way up to the front and uh, secured in position. And uh, that's really it, folks. Uh, it's been a real nice model. Check out the other videos, guys, we, t we put out on this thing. It's going. It wants to fly. Uh, in the upper right-hand corner uh, of our... Uh, of this uh, screen, all of our sister videos, all the ones associated with flight demo, unboxing. We did two uh, grass demos. They're all in the upper right hand corner of this video and that information card like the rest of our videos. So you guys can access those videos uh, quickly there. So check those out on the channel. Steve, you ready? Uh, let me get my uh, get my strap on here. Check my controls, right, left, up, down, left, right. Looks like we're good to go. This is a little bit of a remaining because I put the uh, the actual factory horns on the tail this time, so we're going to kind of see how it does, and I'll drive it around the pavement a little bit. Uh, check us out on Instagram, guys, and Twitter. Yeah, taxi's real nice. You know what? It actually it does that uh, does that tail flip around. There we go, like that. <laughs> it has a real tight turning radius with that uh, with that tail wheel. If you flip it around to park it, that's kind of the the steerman parking move, but. Uh, anyway, folks, uh, yeah, check us out on Instagram and Twitter. We're putting up posts every day. Uh, also, we got a merch store below, folks. And if you guys want one of these, uh, please check it out in the description below our video. If you guys purchase one through our BitGo Hobby link, uh, we do get a little uh, commission out of that. We do appreciate the support, folks. And also, like and subscribe, folks, to our channel. Uh, share our videos. Hit that notification bell. So you guys will get uh, the latest videos when we put them out because we do have a lot of new releases coming out and you guys will want to check that out. Look at that, Steve. That's how you park them, right? There you go. <laughs> In the old days. All right, here we go. Right, left, up, down. Let's taxi. I'm going to take off in this direction here. Let's see. Yeah, it's uh, actually, it's variable. Take it off. Ease of that power in. Staying on that rudder, baby. Little left, little right. Yeah, a little wobbly. It tends to stick to the uh, stick to the pavement a little bit better on those wheels. It doesn't slide on the grass so much. Very nice. Okay, let's see how those elevators are doing. Little forward trim. It looks like I'm going to need. Let me come by slow here, Steve. Or actually, you know what? I'm going to come by fast. Let me bring the power up here, just so I trim it that way. Usually trim these things at high speed. Yeah, it's pitching a little bit. I kind of expected that because it's kind of been in my car. And uh, again, I changed the uh, tail raw or the tail horns to the factory horns. So um, uh, let's come by, Steve. Here, you got that mic on, Steve? Yep. All right, excellent. Very nice flying airplane, folks. Dynam airplanes are known for being just awesome flying machines. Uh, this one, the parts all went together extremely well. Um, check out the build guide for the little caveats to building it. Uh, but other than that, folks, great flying model. This is something I'm going to take to Joan All, Seth, all those kind of events, uh, if we ever have them again. <laughs> Not so, a if, it's just when. What's that? Not a if, just when. Yeah. It's not an if, it's a when. Great flying model. It's handling the crosswind okay. Not a super fast model. This is full throttle right here, Steve. Let me bring it by fast. That's cooking along at full throttle. They were and it's handling the wind. <laughs> Let's bring it back. We might be getting a little bit of a west wind here, Steve. Power's coming in. Really nice, yeah. That's about two-thirds throttle there. Again, Stearmans are not speedy airplanes. You know, they're uh, early 30s, 40s era. Army Air Corps training plane, so uh, made by the Stearman Company, bought out by Boeing, I believe. And uh, there's still many examples of this thing flying today. Now, Bitco Hobby just came out with this. It's probably the biggest Stearman around, 1,300 millimeters. 
four cell powered. Oh, that wind almost got me there, Steve. <laughs> I think it's coming from behind us a little bit here right yeah. now. Uh, this has two wing lights on it. But uh, this thing flew. It flies beautifully, folks. Um, like I said, check our description below, folks. And uh, we have them in, our, uh, in the description if you guys want to get one. It does support our channel. A little touch and go there. Let's peel it out this way. Come back once again. We'll roll it upside down. Not something you see Stearmans do too often, but this model will do it nicely. Very aerobatic. Very cool. I'm flying everything at 100. Actually, I think I'm at 125% travel on everything. Little hot, little hot. Power off, little right and left rudder. There, there, yeah, a little windy there. Actually, it's calming down a little. Let me drive it back here, Steve. If you can zoom in tight on it, all those struts are aluminum. Uh, the, the, it has flying wires on it. And um, the main landing gear is pretty tough. It's got good engine detail. Yeah, we're going to take it out again. Let me bring it up. I'll hit my throttle kill. And uh, if you guys see, saw the last video that we did, we, uh, we did a high-speed touch-and-go, hit the grass on the, with the wheels, and it flipped over. Didn't harm it at all. Just got a little dirt here, and everything's uh, it's a sturdy bird. I tell you, it really is. Uh, a couple things to show you guys from the last video. Steve, can you get in on the horn there? Yep. Okay, I went on the outermost hole, and um, that gives me, uh, on my high rate, that's the travel I'm getting out of this thing. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to go there. That is at 125% travel on the servo. Uh, same thing with the ailerons. I'm at full rate. Steve, if you want to get on here, outer hole yeah. and outer hole. Can you get in on that? Yeah. Same thing. I'm at 125% travel flying around. Zero expo. Okay, now you guys set it up the way you like it, but I tell you, it seems to fly... Um, very well for me there. I can go to lower rates, but I'm using all the resolution out of everything. Also, wingtip lights right here. Steve, you can probably see that pretty good. Yep. Is it focusing? Oh, yeah. And then we got a, a wing light kind of right here, nice red one. Actually, this is good to see those in. We're having kind of a dark, dark day here. And, uh, but nice model, folks. Let's, uh, let's take it up again here, Steve. Do a few more things with it. Let it taxi on out there. Very, very well behaved on the pavement. You may want to put some softer tires on it. These are foam wheels, um, but um, but it seems to handle it okay. I love the way that tail turns around. <laughs> it's because uh, you know I think they used to park it that way. It was designed so when you pull it into parking, you yep. just flip the rudder and then you can park it so it's ready to go out again. Yep. You know, that's that was the, kind of the idea behind uh, having it the the tail wheel. It might have even free castered. I, I don't know what the original Stearman did. But uh, here we go. Taking off. Yeah, this is a plane you want to stay on that rudder, baby. Until you get some airflow over it. Outstanding. Very nice. Very smooth, folks. If you want to do some graceful aerobatics, have a nice bi big biplane to fly, this is the way to go, guys, at Bitco Hobby. Check our links below once again. It is just a nice flying model. Just playing on those wheels. Once you have airflow over the rudder, it's not, too, it's not bad at all, just like any other tail dragger. Just take it on down there. Woo! Yeah, baby. Very tight turning model. I'm impressed, folks. Again, this is a, a newer generation of Dynam airplanes. As we all know, Dynam airplanes have always been a bit rough. Sometimes you have to do a couple things to them. They're not uh, the high fidelity that some of these models are coming out of the, the box. This is a newer generation where everything fits really nicely. And it's a, everything's very high quality. It's nice. But, you know, it, again, it's a little rougher finish-wise. Fit, this thing fit together beautifully. Uh, just an awesome, awesome airplane. Come in with a little bit of power. Power backing off on the power. Just a little bit, a little rudder. A little wing scrape there. I don't have an excuse now, Steve. The wind is damn calm. Here, <laughs> taking off. 
There we go. Just made it. Just made it. All right, we'll bring it back in here. I'm going to peel away. Yeehaw. Nice flyer. We're losing. We don't really have much light, Steve, so I'm trying to keep it down low where your camera will get in on it a little bit better. No flaps on this, baby. No stabilization either. If you put a stabilizer, this thing will lock right in. You won't have any problem flying. I'm just flying it cold. Just four channels, folks. That is it. Four channels. There we go. Touch and go. Another touch and go. Let's turn it around. Touch and go at the other side. That's what this plane is for, folks, for training. Getting used to your landings. Not like that, but a little smoother. That's what those foam wheels will do to you on pavement, folks. They make it a little bit more of a bouncy landing. All right, let me bring it on in with that, Steve. My battery might be dying because this is a very old battery I just put in this. There we go. Staying on that rudder, staying on that rudder, staying on that rudder. Woo. Let me check the power on this thing. Let's see what the battery's doing. If the battery's not totally dead yet, I'll bring it on in. You got to taxi it slow on this pavement. On, on, on grass, it will not do that because the wheels kind of slide a bit. But on pavement, it'll tip a bit. All right, excellent. Let me kill the throttle here real fast. Let's see what our battery meter is going to say on it. Let me just do a quick check here, Steve. Let me just kind of see if I can plug it in real fast here. Let me grab out my uh, old dew glasses so I can see what I'm doing here. Let's see. Let me plug this baby on in here. Let's see what we got. All right, we'll get this down in here. Let me see what we have. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's an old battery. Here, let me get it out of there. Let me unplug her. We went low on it, Steve. I thought I felt it dying out there, but I wasn't sure. It's an old, old battery, though, here. So let me get this thing out of here. I'll peel my Velcro off. And uh, great four-cell powered plane, folks. Just a sweetheart. Very good to fly. Get this out of here. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm not even going to unclip that. Let's get this on here. But nice model, folks. Really sweet. Really good flyer. All right, let's see what we got, Steve. I already got it plugged in. It's going to roll away on me. We get a wheel on the grass. Yeah, look where we went. <laughs> Whoa. Focused in on that. It's 7%. Yeah, yeah I was down there a little bit. But again, this is like... This is an old battery, folks. 2600. So yeah, it's uh, it uh, it's probably had its uh, seen better days, but uh, you know it uh, it gets the job done. And you can go higher on the on the uh, you can go higher on the uh, the capacity if you want, folks. But really, that's all it needs. Anybody who has a 2200 four cell, 2600 four cell, just any four cell, just shove it all the way up to front. And you're good to go. Uh, but Steve, what do you think, man? Yeah, sweet flying trainer. This is nice, folks. It's just such a good flyer. Um, I'm bouncing around a little bit there on the pavement, but uh, just awesome, uh, awesome model, folks. So uh, once again, check it out at Bitco Hobby, and our link's in the description below, guys. If you get one, it does support our channel. We really do appreciate that. Also, um, we're on Instagram. Check it out. Um, uh, links are all the way down below in the description as well. Um, our videos, uh, we have a flight demo on this on the grass, two of them unbox set up and if you guys check out that unbox and assembly video um, it, it really will tell show you some of the little things I did you know as it's a dyno plane some of the little things I did to uh, to uh, to kind of tweak it and get it uh, get it up and running but honestly this one really didn't didn't need all that much so um, but uh, anyway uh, otherwise guys uh, support us like and subscribe share our videos Hit that notification bell, folks, because we have new videos coming to the channel, like a lot of new videos of new airplanes. So if you hit that bell, it's going to let you know. You'll get alerted to when we put those out. So uh, anyway, uh, Steve, what do you think, man? Uh, we're going to give you some stick time on this as well. You get to fly uh, probably next here. So uh, anyway, folks, thanks for watching RC Informer, and we'll see you next time.